Let man's soul be a sphere, and then in this the intelligence that moves devotion is. And as the other spheres, by being grown subject to four emotions, lose their own, and being by others hurried every day, scarce in a year their natural form obey. Pleasure or business, so our souls admit for their first mover, and are whirled by it. Hence it is that I am carried towards the west this day. When my soul's form bends towards the east, there I should see a sun by rising set. And by that setting, endless day beget. But that Christ on his cross did rise and fall, sin had eternally benighted all. Yet dare I almost be glad I do not see that spectacle of too much weight for me. Who sees God's face, that is self-life, must die. What a death were it then to see God die. It made his own lieutenant nature shrink. It made his footstool crack. And the sun to wink. Could I behold those hands which span the poles, and tune all spheres at once, pierced with those holes? Could I behold the endless height which is zenith to us, and to our antipodes, humbled below us? Or that blood which is the seat of all our souls, if not his, made dirt of dust, or that flesh which was worn by God for his apparel, ragged and torn? If on these things I durst not look, durst I upon his miserable mother cast mine eye, who was God's partner here, and furnished thus half that sacrifice which ransomed us, Though these things, as I ride, be from mine eye, they are present yet unto my memory. For that looks towards them, and thou lookst towards me. O Saviour, as thou hangst upon the tree, I turn my back to thee, but to receive corrections, till thy mercies bid thee leave. O oh, think me worth thine anger, punish me, burn off my rusts and my deformity. Restore thine image so much by thy grace that thou may knowest me, and I'll turn my face. <laughs>